Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today, inshallah, we will learn lesson number seven. Lesson number seven of the book, Drusu Logot Larabia, book two. In this lesson, we will learn more asnad. Zahabtum. Today, inshallah, we will learn about Zahabtum in this lesson. Zahabtum mean you masculine plural. You masculine plural. Went. Akaltum. You at. So you masculine plural. Tum is. What is it tum here? Is it where. Uh, while arm of Udhi. Tum is here. File arm of Udhi. File. File, yes. In. Tum is file here. <clears throat> it is subject here. Maza akal tum ya ikhwanu. What did you eat, brothers? Ya ikhwanu, brothers. Akal tum. Maza kaltum ya ikhwanu. What did you eat, brothers? Ikhwanu, we said brothers. These all snas we have learned in the previous lessons. So here is nothing new. Then other is zahabtunna. We will learn for the feminine plural. Second person feminine plural. Tum second person masculine plural. And tunna second person feminine plural. Zahab tunna. You went. Qara tunna. You read. Aqara'atunna hazihil majallata ya akhawatu. Did you read this magazine? Majalla? Magazine. Qara'atunna. Second person. Feminine. Plural. Ya akhawatu. Sisters. Did you read this magazine? Sisters. So, is there any mafur bihi in this uh, sentence? In this sentence? Majalla. Majalla, yes. Aqaratunna hazihil majalla taya khawatu. Majalla is mafur bihi object in this sentence. So, and where is the file? Where is the file? Tunna, sir? Yes, Tunna. Akra Tunna. Tunna is the file, the subject here. And Al Majalata <coughs> is Mufur Bihi. Zahabna. First person plural. First person, we use it for feminine and masculine for both. Zahabna. We went. Zahabna, we went. This na is file here. Means we went. We can use for the masculine. We can use for the feminine. For Muzakra and for Mornas, we can use for both. Sameena, we heard. So Samea is file and na is file here. Na is file here. We heard. 
Masame'na We did not hear the azan. We have learned that when we use ma in the past tense, so it make it negative. Ma sameen al azana. We did not hear the azan. So where is the file? Where is the no, file? sir. Na is file. Same. Where is fail? Samina. Sami. Sa same. Same is the fail and na in the file. Na is file. Al azana. Maful bihi, sir? Maful bihi. Al azana is maful bihi. Object here. Al azana is object here. Okay. Good. Now we will learn uh, with another. Ra'ay tu muhu. Ra'ay tu muhu. You saw him. You saw him. Ra'aytu. This is Ra'aytum. Ra'aytum. This is Ra'aytum. And it is followed by a uh, object. So that's why we will give it one uh, wow. And meme silent will take fata. With the other uh, other Damar, you can see here. Ra'ay tuhu. I saw him. Ra'ay is, is fail. Tu is file. And who is mafool bihi? Who is mafool bihi? Ra'ay tuhu. I saw him. Okay. Ra'ay tahu. Ra'ay is fail, ta is file, and who is maful bihi object? You saw him. Ra'ay tihi. Ra'ay is fail, t is, fi is file, feminine singular. These are all singular. So this is feminine singular. Ra'ay ti he. So who? Take it. Kasra here. We have learned in the first lesson of the Drusola Utul Arabiya, book one, uh, that uh, when there is a Kasra, uh, so, okay, forget it. Note that in the last example, pronoun who, pronoun who has changed into he. In the, you can see here in the Ra'ay Tihi, Ra'ay Tihi, you see here. That the last example, the pronoun who has changed into he. This change is for vocalic. This change is for vocalic harmony. Just to pronounce it easily. <clears throat> Just to pronounce it easily. <clears throat> uh, that's why we give it a kasrat. There is no grammatical logic. There is no grammatical rule apply here. But just for make it easy, we give it kasra. Because uh, T is taking the kasra. So uh, if we uh, pronounce it Rai T who, uh, it is not uh, so uh, convenient. So they give it kasra. Just to make it easy. The combination T he. The combination T, T sounds better than T, who. So T, he is sounds better. It is easy. That's why they just give it a kasra. Here are some more examples of this kind of change. By tu who. By tu who. So there is a dhamma. So they give dhamma to who. By tu who. Fi by T, he. Because of the fee, by to change into by t. So, just to make it easy, we give who uh, here make it kasra fee by t he.
द दम्मा हु इज लॉन्ग दिस दम्मा हु इज लॉन्ग इफ इट इज प्रोसीडेड बाय अ शॉर्ट वावल लाइक लहू इफ देर इज अ शॉर्ट वावल ला इज अ शॉर्ट वावल देर इज अ शॉर्ट वावल ला सो इट विल बी हु विल बी अ लॉन्ग वी विल प्रोलॉन्ग इट वी विल मेक इट लॉन्ग लहू आई टू हू टू इज अ शॉर्ट वावल टू इज अट शॉर्ट वावल सो वी विल हु विल मेक इट लॉन्ग आई टू हू Not so long, but bit long. Then who? Rai to who? La who? Like this. And it is short when it is preceded by a consonant or a long vowel. If there is a long vowel, then we make it short, like min. Min who? So who we will make it short? This dama is short here. This dama we will pronounce it short. Kata bu hu. There is long vowel. Bu hu is a long vowel. So this hu we will pronounce it short. Kata bu hu. Bu is a long vowel. So hu will be short. This rule applies also to he, be he, and fi he. He, be he, and fi he. This rule apply with uh, this form also. Min who, min who. So who will be short? Fi he. Fi is a long vowel, so he will be short. Fi he. About the long vowel and short vowel. You already will uh, already have learned in the first lesson of the book, book one. Now here is an an example of vocalic harmony in English. We pronounce woman. <coughs> We pronounce woman as woman. <coughs> We pronounce it woman. But <coughs> when there is a plural. We pronounce it women. We pronounce it women. Not we. We don't pronounce it women. We pronounce women. We change o into i when we pronounce it because of i in the second uh, uh, syllable. as we see as you have seen in these examples nasab pronoun nasab pronoun is directly added to the verb nasab pronoun is directly added to the verb but in the case of a verb with the pronoun of the second person masculine plural Second person masculine plural. What is the second person masculine plural? What is the pronoun of second person masculine plural? Antum, sir. Ant. Okay. Antum. Okay. Good. So, what suffix we will use? Tum. Suffix with the fail madi. We will use tum. So, rai tum. A vow. Has to be added between the verb and the pronoun. A vowel has been added between the verb and the pronoun. Like raitu muhu, raitu muhu. So here we have added a vowel and. And here you can see <clears throat> meme is silent. Here meme is silent. Tum, whom you can see meme is silent here. But when we add a vowel, then we give a dhamma to this meme. So it will come. Rai tu muhu. You saw him. 
raaitu muha yusafar so we add a vow and we give kasra to the letter before this vow yusafar raaitu mu hunna you saw them <clears throat> So same we do it. This is tum. We are adding an extra vow here. Here are some more examples. Rasal tum. Rasal tum. You washed it. Rasal tum. You washed it. So who is file here? Who? Oh sorry. Who is object here? So when we attach who, then it will become mu. It we will change tum into tumu. We will add, add an extra vow here. Vasal tumu. Then after that we will add this uh, uh, nasab pronoun. Vasal tumu hu. You washed it. Katal tum. You can see it, katal tum. You killed. Whom? You killed them. So, it tum change into tumu. Katal tumu whom? You killed them. Sa al tum. Sa al tum. Ha. You asked. Her. You asked her. So, tum change into tumu. There is an extra vow and we give fata to the uh, last uh, harav. And ha will be same. So, sal tumu ha. This is a uh, pattern when we use the pronoun with the uh, second person plural. When there is second person plural, then we add an extra vow and we give uh, dhamma to the last uh, of our particle. So is it clear for you or you have any question? Okay. Kana. Kana means he was. Kana, he was. It is used in a nominal sentences. Kana, we will use in nominal sentences. Jumla tul ismiya. Kana enters in the nominal sentences. Bilalun fil fasli. <clears throat> Bilalun fil fasli. This is a nominal sentence. Starting with a noun ism. Bilal is in the class. So it is a present tense. It is a present tense. Fil mudare. Bilal is in the class. When we will use a kana in the nominal sentence, it will change it into the past tense. Fil madi. Kana bilalun fil fasli. Bilal was in the class. So because of you, using this kana, it changed into the past tense. Kana bilalun fil fasli. Bilal was in the class. So there is no change in the sentence. Because of the kana, there is no change in the sentence. The sentence will remain same. Only its meaning will change into the past. Al Modar is yes. Sir, sir, we cannot write it as Bilalun Kana Filfasli. We cannot uh, write. Can, can, can Kana be written after Bilalun? No. We, we can enter it in the nominal sentence and we must have to write it in the uh, uh, First. beginning of the sentence. Like we enter the harf uh, nasab inna okay. kana. So we write it before the isam. In the beginning. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Al-Mudarrisu fil-Maktabati. 
the teacher is in the library the teacher is in the library here you can see is present tense the teacher is in the library kanal mudarrisu kana is changed into was kanal mudarrisu fil maktabati and you can see here there is no change in this sentence sentence still the same we just added kana the teacher was in the class al qalam taht al kitabi the pen is under the book the pen is under the book kan al qalam taht al kitabi the pen was under the table the pen was under the table so it is changing its meaning from past, uh, present to past zainab fil matbakhi zainab is in the kitchen is in the kitchen present tense kanat feminine of kana this is feminine of kana kana and kanat we use for the uh, ghaib uh, feminine uh, we can say ghaib muzakkar mufrad kana we use for the ghaib muzakkar and mufrad and kanat we use for the ghaib uh, muannas mufrad kanat we use for the ghaib muannas mufrad kanat zainab fil matbakhi zainab was in the kitchen you will notice here that the khabar in each of these example is a clause yes ibrahim yeah uh, my question is why bilalu have uh, two uh, bilalu there's two what is two kasra to bilalu and mudarris only one like the so she ask kalamu okay no no kalamu or mudarris okay wait wait bilalun is a proper noun bilalun is a ism alam proper noun al mudarrisu it is definite noun because of the al so if there is alif lam with the noun then it cannot have a tanween it will take single dhamma when there is alif lam with the uh, ism it cannot have the tanween it will take only single dhamma al mudarrisu al qalamu al kursiyu okay so you will notice here that the khabar in each of these examples is a clause fil maktabati fil matbakh fil maktabati fil matbakhi tahat al kitabi fil fasli no change takes place in a clause after kana after kana there is no change take place and even the ism the noun also doesn't change al qalamu al mudarrisu zainabu bilalun the noun also uh, doesn't change and the khabar also doesn't change this is taht al kitabi class means shibul jumla phrase you can say it phrase also fil matbakhi it is a phrase it is a shibul jumla taht al kitabi this is a adverbial phrase so there will be no change in the sentence because of the kana bilalun maridun bilalun maridun bilal is sick here all all the predicates Oh, sorry. Are the predicates are the khabars because they are the shibun jumla, they are the class, so there is no change because of the kana. Fil matbaki. 
but when bilalun maridun kana bilalun maridan bilal was sick so it will khabar will be mansub kana will give mansub to the khabar and this more about this you will learn in the lesson number 25 so here you can remember if the khabar if the khabar is a clause then it will remain unchanged if the khabar is clause then it will remain unchanged but if the khabar is a noun if the khabar is noun it is rendered mansub after the introduction of kana so if a khabar is a noun it will be mansub after the using the kana kana note that the following examples rajulun zu lihiyatin a beard a beard man zu lihiyatin have a have a beard rajulun man ar rajulu if we use ar rajulu zu lihat li yati so what is uh, the change here ar rajulu so mudafilai also taking alif lam mudafilai is also taking alif lam ar rajulu zu lihati the bearded man so it is definite and the this one is indefinite in the first zu qualifies an indefinite noun in the first zu qualifies an indefinite noun rajulun is an indefinite noun so lihiyatin is also definite uh, indefinite nakira, nakira and in the second is the example ar rajulu is definite noun we know that the adjective of a definite noun should also be definite ar rajulu and its adjective is alayatu <clears throat> this is its adjective ar rajulu lihiyati uh, this this is taking because this is a t because it is mudafilai so if we simply write it alone so it will be like this ar rajulu ar rajulul lihiyatu So it will be a lihiyatu, or rajulul lihiyatu. And because here is zu is mudaf, so it is mudaf. It is taking kasra. <clears throat> But zu is mudaf and cannot take alif lam. So this is overcome by making the mudaf ilai definite by adding alif lam. because this zu cannot take the alif lam because it is mudaf ilai eh, sorry it is mudaf zu is mudaf it cannot take the alif lam that's why we added this alif lam to al hiya okay so zu cannot take the alif lam zu is uh, zu is its adjective it's, it cannot take the alif lam so we added alif lam to is mudafilai <clears throat> so this is overcome by making the mudafilai definite by alif lam so rajulun zu lihiyatin the mudafilai remains indefinite and in ar rajulu zu lihiyati it becomes definite zu lihiyati we we added here alif lam 
because ar rajulu is alif lam here are the examples in the kitabun zu ghilafin jamilin kitabun a book it is indefinite so ghilafin is also indefinite i have a book with a beautiful cover in the kitabun i i have a book zu ghilafin jamilin with the beautiful cover so this is indefinite that's why it is taking uh, tanwin here al kitabu al kitabu is definite zul ghilafi so ghilafin will take alif lam and it will be it will change into al ghilafi so it will zul ghilafi jamili walin this book with the beautiful cover is expensive walin mean expensive the book with the beautiful cover ghilaf mean cover the book with the beautiful cover is expensive fi qaryatira masjidun masjidun is indefinite noun so there is no alif lam in the mudafila fi qaryatina masjidun zu manaratin wahidatin in our village there is a mosque with a with one minaret there is a mosque indefinite there is a mosque so it is one minaret it is also mudafila is also uh, indefinite al masjidu mudaf da mosque zul minarati so zul minara al minara it will also definite al masjidu zul minarati al wahidati qadimun the mosque with one minaret minaret is old the mosque with one minaret is old <clears throat> then the letter meem in zahabtum kitabuhum hum kitabukum antum has kun this meme have kun all these memes you can see here it have sukun and this sukun change to dhamma when followed by hamzatul wasal if followed by hamzatul wasal then sukun of the meme will change into dhamma by to kumul jadidu this me meme sukun will take the ma baitukumul jadidu this baitukum will change into baitukum raaitum or aitum mul imama so raaitum memes kun change into mu kitab kitabuhum meme is silent kitabuhum meme is silent kitabuhumul qadimu so mim will take dhamma saaltum saaltu mubnatu saaltu mubnahu so this mim will take kasra here if followed by hamzatul wasal abshir it literally means rejoice at good news rejoice at the good news sir yes sir uh, how will we translate this uh, saaltum mubnahu saaltum saaltum you asked ha huh. yes hey, did you ask his son yes. will it be like that yes did you ask okay. his son Ib ibnahu his son okay and the previous one kitabuhum al qadimu ibna there... ib Ibna will be a uh, file a uh, maful bihi. This Ibna yes, will be maful bihi. It is. It will be object here. Okay. 
Okay, sir. And uh, who that will be Madafile, right? His son. Yeah, yes. And sir, yes. and sir, like Kitabu Humul Kadimu will be their old book. I mean, yes. if it translated. Uh, okay. Kitabu Humul Kadimu, their old books. It's a Because here is uh, no muful bihi. Kitabu Hum, their books, Al Kadimu, uh, old. Their books are old, we can say. Were old, we can say. Okay. tumul Imam Ma you uh, did you see the Imam? Did you see the Imam Imam? By Tukumul Jadudu, your new house is your new house. Your yeah. new house, yes. By to uh, house, your new house. And okay, this, sir. Okay, this was our lesson for today. When we have uh, some good news, then we say Abshir. Rejoice at the good news. So this was our lesson and this is Sulis, Sulusun. We will do it tomorrow, inshallah, and we will learn the lesson from the book, inshallah. Our time is over. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.